guys, how are you all? It's Cloudy back with another anime series, full series review. Today we're doing Plastic Memories. So to give a quick red note, Plastic Memories takes place in a more futuristic world where humans coexist with Giftia, who are basically androids. And even though they're artificial beings, they can technically still process emotions and completely blend into society like regular functioning people. It doesn't focus so much on the technology aspect and the problems with Giftia because that's already been worked out. It focuses on what happens with the Giftia and the emotional repercussions that they have while interacting with humans in society. The key flaw to the Giftia is that they only have a limited amount of hours to live and once those hours are up they need to be professionally collected and then terminated because if they don't they go a little bit berserk and then they end up wreaking havoc on society which is just not good for anyone. Judging by this premise, any promotional videos and even the poster, you can kind of guess that this is a series that's going to tug on your heartstrings a little bit. I have a few romantic series that I really love and they're drama, romance, slice of life kind of series. Those end with absolutely heart-wrenching finales and I'm just like a ball of mush on the ground when it's done. I cried for Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso, I cried for Nagi no Asukara, and I cried for Clanad. Those are the only three big series that I've ever really fully cried. Other series I have teared up for and I have gotten a little bit upset over with the ending but generally not full out cry. I have also gotten quite emotional at the end for Plastic Memories. I personally like the characters as a fan but as a reviewer I didn't think that the wrap-up of the series was as great as it could have been. Plastic Memories started out with a lot of potential because it set up society in such a way that there's a lot of emotional goodbyes every single day and death in that sense is a lot closer to people because they're always losing Giftia. The Giftia live about five or six years with people before they have to be terminated. You can definitely build up a lot of emotional connections. As a result, a lot of people when they know that the deadline is coming they end up eloping, running away, they get very hostile, they hide their Giftia and the job of the terminal agency service department is to properly collect these Giftia and give the owners some closure. The interesting thing about the series is you know that definitely a human and a Giftia are gonna fall in love and you definitely know that there is going to be some heartfelt goodbye that you're gonna ball over. Because I expected this much, it was a little bit of a disappointment when I did get to the end. Yes, everyone just got like really teary-eyed for it and people started breaking out into tears and crying and saying their goodbyes, but it wasn't as moving for me as a viewer because the series itself kind of fluctuates in terms of the plot. So you have the main plot going strong on one side, which is the terminal service collection. They visit a lot of different people. Every episode features a different Giftia being collected and through that we get to tease out a lot of the different themes. But on the other side of things, we get a lot of slice of life and comedy. If you sit down and think about why Ayla and Tsukasa are a good couple, you can't really figure it out. But I'm guessing it's through the everyday interactions and through their hard work and partnership that feelings kind of develop. I feel like Ayla doesn't talk at all to Tsukasa at the very beginning. Tsukasa has kind of fallen for some very quirky things with Ayla. It's nothing that's too deep. I can't really see their relationship going anywhere. I do understand that the series is trying to push for those heavy emotions and really tease those out in the themes that we've seen. We've seen so many Giftia gone wrong. We've seen Michiru and her really devastating backstory of what happens to a Giftia when they go on the run and they have to be forcibly removed and put down. There's just a lot that the series tries to make you relate to, but because we don't really see anything upsetting between Tsukasa and Ayla, we don't see anything emotionally conflicting between them. Besides the fact that Ayla is going to die at the very end, I don't really feel like the series is that emotional for me. I don't know, maybe it's because I've been reviewing a lot of series, or maybe because I came out of Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso last season, but I really expected more from Plastic Memories. I definitely feel like Plastic Memories is one of those series that requires more than 13 episodes to tease out everything that we need to tease out. Granted, we also need a little bit more time to absorb this whole Ayla and Tsukasa relationship. Everything has been moving so quickly, I can barely remember what happened in the last few events and process the emotions before we are racing forward towards the end because we are ticking and running out of time. One thing that is good about the series in this sense is that you can look at it as a middle ground between very comedic shows and very emotional shows. Some people don't want to ball their eyes out, they want a little bit of heart, a little bit of comedy, and just kind of like a sappy ending. In terms of animation, I think they do very well. When we see slice of life everyday aspects, you get really bright colors, very solid lines, everything is clear cut, easy on the eyes. The hairstyling is a little bit weird, but I can kind of get past that once you get used to the show and how it looks overall. The soundtrack though is absolutely amazing and definitely one of the main aspects. Even when we saw the promotional videos, reviewers, first impressions, vloggers, everyone was saying how it just seems like such an emotional show because the soundtrack is so amazing. You get the main theme consistently played throughout all of the very intimate moments. When the music starts playing, I start to get a bit emotional because the music expresses what the show is trying to express, but what the story itself fails a little in execution and storytelling. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of Plastic Memories in the comments below or tweet me at Curious Cloudy. 
I definitely think Plastic Memories is a show you should recommend to people because it does raise a lot of different interesting questions to think about and the society itself is quite interesting to observe because the Giftia are so properly integrated there aren't really any problems. Watching Plastic Memories and reflecting on what Plastic Memories is trying to say, it kind of makes you reflect on what you do on an everyday basis and it encourages you to live every single day to its fullest and do everything that you want to do with the people you love. Even though I've given a lot of critique for Plastic Memories today, if an anime series makes you reflect on something in your life, it makes you think of something meaningful. I think in that sense, that the story is quite successful. And on that sappy note, I'm going to end the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope that you watch Plastic Memories. If you guys are looking for more videos from me, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Until then, I hope you guys are well and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.